Fatty liver, fatty liver, also known as hepatic steatosis, is a condition where excess fat accumulates in liver cells. There are two main types, alcoholic fatty liver disease, AFLD, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. NAFLD is more common and is associated with factors such as obesity, insulin resistance, high cholesterol, and metabolic syndrome. Signs and symptoms. Fatty liver might not always cause noticeable symptoms, especially in its early stages. However, some signs and symptoms that could be associated with fatty liver include fatigue, discomfort in the abdomen or pain in the upper right side, enlarged liver, which might be detected during a physical examination, elevated liver enzymes, detected through blood tests, causes, alcohol consumption, Excessive alcohol intake is a well-known cause of fatty liver. This condition is referred to as alcoholic fatty liver disease, AFLD. Alcohol is metabolized by the liver, and excessive consumption can overwhelm the liver's ability to process it, leading to fat accumulation. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD. This is the most common cause of fatty liver. It is not related to alcohol consumption. NAFLD is associated with metabolic factors such as obesity, insulin resistance, high blood sugar, high cholesterol, and metabolic syndrome. Obesity and overweight, excess body weight, particularly central obesity, excess fat around the abdomen, increases the risk of developing fatty liver. Obesity is closely linked to insulin resistance, which can contribute to fat accumulation in the liver. The body's cells become less responsive to insulin, which can result in elevated blood sugar levels and fat storage in the liver. Unhealthy diet. Diets high in refined carbohydrates, added sugars, and unhealthy fats can contribute to fatty liver. These diets promote insulin resistance and inflammation, both of which are associated with fat accumulation in the liver. Rapid weight loss. Rapid weight loss particularly when done through crash diets or extreme measures, can lead to the release of stored fats into the bloodstream. The liver may struggle to process this excess fat, leading to fatty liver. Certain medications, some medications, including corticosteroids, certain cancer medications, and certain antiviral drugs, can cause fatty liver as a side effect. Malnutrition Severe malnutrition or inadequate intake of essential nutrients can disrupt the liver's normal functions and lead to fat accumulation. Viral hepatitis. In some cases, viral infections such as hepatitis C can lead to fatty liver, especially if the infection becomes chronic. Moreover, fatty liver itself can range from a relatively benign condition to more severe forms that can lead to inflammation, scarring, fibrosis, and even cirrhosis if left untreated. Fatty liver, if left untreated or unmanaged, can lead to various health risks and complications. The extent of these risks can vary depending on the underlying cause of the fatty liver and other individual factors. Here are some potential health risks associated with fatty liver. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. In some cases, fatty liver can progress to a more severe condition called non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. This involves inflammation and liver cell damage. NASH can lead to fibrosis, scarring, of the liver, which can impair liver function over time. Cirrhosis. As fibrosis progresses, it can lead to cirrhosis, a late stage of scarring in the liver. Cirrhosis is characterized by extensive damage to liver tissue and impaired liver function. It can lead to serious complications such as fluid retention, bleeding disorders, and increased risk of liver cancer. Liver cancer. Individuals with advanced cirrhosis are at an increased risk of developing liver cancer, also known as hepatocellular carcinoma, HCC. Fatty liver, especially when it progresses to cirrhosis, can contribute to the development of liver cancer. Cardiovascular disease. Fatty liver is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases, including heart attack and stroke. The metabolic abnormalities often seen in individuals with fatty liver, such as insulin resistance and high cholesterol, contribute to this risk. Type 2 diabetes. Fatty liver and insulin resistance are closely linked. 
fatty liver can contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes, and conversely, diabetes can exacerbate fatty liver. Metabolic syndrome. Fatty liver is often part of a cluster of metabolic abnormalities known as metabolic syndrome. This syndrome includes factors like abdominal obesity, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high triglycerides. Metabolic syndrome increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. Complications during surgery. Fatty liver can increase the risk of complications during surgeries due to its impact on the liver's function and blood clotting mechanisms. Chronic kidney disease. Some research suggests a potential link between fatty liver and chronic kidney disease, although the exact nature of this relationship is still being studied. Treatment. Treatment for fatty liver often involves addressing the underlying causes and making lifestyle changes. Healthy diet. Consume a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Avoid or limit foods high in sugar, refined carbohydrates, and saturated fats. Weight management. If you're overweight, gradual weight loss can help improve fatty liver. Aim for a sustainable, balanced approach to weight loss. Physical activity. Engage in regular physical activity, such as aerobic exercise and strength training. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. Limit alcohol. If you have alcoholic fatty liver disease, reducing or eliminating alcohol consumption is crucial for improvement. Control diabetes and cholesterol. If you have diabetes or high cholesterol, work with your healthcare provider to manage these conditions effectively. Home remedies. While there is no specific cure for fatty liver, some home remedies might support liver health. Green tea. Some studies suggest that green tea may have beneficial effects on liver health due to its antioxidants. Turmeric. Curcumin, a compound in turmeric, has potential anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that might benefit the liver. Coffee. Some research indicates that moderate coffee consumption could be associated with a lower risk of liver diseases. Foods that may help reduce fatty liver. Fruits and vegetables. These are rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. Aim for a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables to provide essential nutrients that support liver health. Whole grains. Choose whole grains like brown rice, whole wheat, quinoa, and oats. Lean proteins. Opt for lean protein sources such as poultry, fish, tofu, legumes, and beans. Healthy fats. Consume moderate amounts of healthy fats, such as those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and olive oil. These fats have anti-inflammatory properties and can support overall health. Fish. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-inflammatory effects and may help improve liver health. Foods to limit or avoid for fatty liver. Sugary foods. Minimize your intake of sugary foods and beverages, as excessive sugar consumption can contribute to insulin resistance and fat accumulation in the liver. Processed foods. Highly processed foods are often high in unhealthy fats, sugars, and additives. They can contribute to weight gain and metabolic issues. Trans fats. Avoid trans fats, which are often found in partially hydrogenated oils used in many fried and packaged foods. Trans fats can worsen inflammation and liver health. Saturated fats. Reduce consumption of foods high in saturated fats like fatty meats, full-fat dairy products, and fried foods. These can contribute to inflammation and fatty liver. Alcohol. If you have fatty liver, it's important to limit or avoid alcohol consumption, especially if you have alcoholic fatty liver disease. Highly refined carbohydrates, foods made with refined flours and sugars, such as white bread, pastries, and sugary cereals, can lead to spikes in blood sugar and contribute to insulin resistance. Excessive salt, High sodium intake can contribute to fluid retention and blood pressure issues, which may worsen liver health. Remember that individual needs and responses can vary, so it's a good idea to work with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian to create a personalized diet plan tailored to your specific condition and goals. 
they can provide guidance based on your medical history and current health status. Thanks for watching.